guys, welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, right now, we're going to be, or well, I will be showing off the Pelican concept design. Now, it's not the Pelican in Halo, any of the Halos. This is just a concept design I found on the net. Um, apparently, and I only read this very, uh, very briefly, that there was a new design for the Pelican for all the Halos um, that they were thinking about, and that's Bungie. Um, talking about, Bungie was thinking about doing this design and this is how it actually looks and have I even tested it? I don't think I have tested it this thing won't even move great, I have to put some wheels on it <laughs> here we go, smoggy bay time yes, double up, X no there it is, thank you and some back here alright let's test this out, shall we? it's probably not going to work why haven't I even tested this out? Unless it's not finished. It's probably not finished. Oh well. <laughs> I've done half of it. More than half. Ah. I was I was just thinking that the front bar was gonna fall straight down. But I have to hold down S to do this. Uh, it's it's helping. Yeah. It's definitely helping. We have to go quite fast to lift this thing up. As you can see, there are useless fu fuel tanks around here, like the back ones, but that's only for the design. I might have to put a stronger engine. Yeah. Alright guys, I changed the design a bit, well, a whole lot. I added engine here, engine there, and I ran them on here because my brother came along and said, put an engine there. For no reason at all. Not that he thought I should have done that. He just thought, man. I did. That's going to use up all the fuel. Let's see if we can lift up now, should we? Fuel is. Yeah, speed's good. Our lift rating's going to be. It's going to suck. Oh. Oh, we're going good. We're going bad. I have to double hold that S. <laughs> Do I even have SAS on this? Wait a second. No wonder why. There is no SAS. We do. Alright, so now we have an SAS. T. Throttle up. Alright, that should do. Alright, looking good. Should have lifted up by now. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, it's going good actually. Not a bad design now that it's working, but it does require a lot of thrust to actually stay in the air. So you see that? Goes straight down, that's not good. That means the front part is heavy. Just try and yeah, this is not not the best design. Oh great, fuel wasted. Okay, where's the fuel wasted? That back part. No problem. But it should have still worked. Alright, alright, not good. Not good. Here we take that part off here. And then come back there. I'm surprised if you actually was used up. Alright, we're gonna try it again. And spacebar. I like the how this looks in there. Looks pretty cool. Any time now. All right, it's good. We did it. I could have turned this into a VTOL. Oh, it's going to take a while. But I have made a a VTOL for this a similar design to this, and I'll show it in a bit. It works quite well, actually. Yeah, turn rate is not good with this at all. Just trying to get the SAS to help me out. Ah. 
<laughs> well, it's funny how we do this. Alright, back to normal. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to land this. Pretty far away now. I restarted the flight just so we can have enough fuel. I'm sure we had enough fuel before, but I restarted it anyway. And I'm gently moving it around. It's alright. It's very fairly smooth actually with the turning now. And uh, just a tip if you're going to be building an aircraft like this, be careful about the wings, because if I had the wing right in the middle there, then the the fumes, the smoke fumes, would actually damage the wing. And in real life, the wing would actually melt. But be cautious about that. And I'm going to turn the throttle down to about half. Oh, no. Not good. That was dangerous. Damn, that freaked me out. Oh well. Um. Hope you like the design. It works. Except for landing. That takes a bit of effort trying to do that. Takes practice. And. Yeah, it's alright. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.